What's up, everybody? NEJ plays here. Back at it with the vlog slash podcast. I don't know what you would call this. Just kind of blasted my brain out. Um, this will probably take a couple tries. So just try number one. I just want to talk about Minnesota truck scene. How I got into the truck scene. How it's taken me places. Met a lot of people. Made a lot of connections. Got a name for myself. And just the adventures of the truck scene. And the, the good and bad parts of truck manity. Um, so I got Joe Lee in the F-150 as you guys know. Um, back in uh, July 24th of 2020. And it's first vehicle, whatever. It came on, I don't even think it had a level. It had 166K on it with 18 by 9 uh, Pro Comp wheels. They were black. And 32 inch tires. Cooper STT Pros had dual exhaust. Came that way. You know, eventually over the years and time, I slowly got tint. I got, tint was like the first thing I did. Um, did some color match. Um, me and my uncle did my grill and then my valance up right under the windshield. And uh, painted my wheels silver. I got some two-inch wheel spacers, so it was a little wider. And just just slowly kept kept going. You know, over the years, obviously now it sits on a six-inch rough country lift. I have a two and a half-inch level on the front, so it's eight and a half in the front, six in the rear. I'm running 20 inch S just factory wheels on two inch spacers with 38 13 fifties uh, Nittle Ridge grapplers so it's a pretty big truck um, headlights taillights a uh, lot of other color match paint uh, every, you know the interior's got some stuff done up to it you name it second motor uh, but anyways you know the first truck unit I ever went to I was probably 10, 12. My parents brought me to uh, Lifted Trucks, Minnesota. They're right off the uh, side of 35 in, uh, I think it was Cambridge, if I'm not, I could be wrong. It was, at, it was up that way, somewhere up there. And uh, my parents brought me an old Betsy. I'll throw a clip up of that. But uh, it was super, super cool just seeing these big ass trucks. And I'm like 12, 10 or 12. And dude, from there, I've always loved big trucks when I grew up. Growing up, it's just, you see that going down the road. I see Ferraris all the time where I live, and they don't excite me. I see a big ass lifted truck. I'm like, wow, dude, that's sick. And uh, from there, I got Jolene, got the color match, got the wheels done. I went up to Duluth. Um, official Zach Moore, now one of my best friends, um, he hosted this meet. It was August 14th, so his birthday weekend, 2021. Met a lot of people, traveled around Duluth, like, super good time. I was just like, my mind was blown. I was like, all these people come to come here, come to these parking lots and whatnot. And I talked to Zach a little bit back in the day, and I was like, well, how do I go about hosting? You know, and he's like, well, just do get it, get some stuff going. So for me, over time, over years, and uh, this is probably, this video might just be scrapped. I don't know. This, we're just going off the top of my head. I got a couple things wrote down, but uh, I'll upload some pictures of that. Um, super great meat. Zach hosts killer meats. Always. Best meats in Minnesota, period most fun most interesting people you'll meet and uh super good time what was i gonna say so eventually you know a couple months after that happened september came around and uh i hosted my first ever truck meet in delano delano minnesota at the my hair is doing something i don't know at the the delano dairy queen out of all places the dairy queen and we probably had 12, 15 trucks, if that. Super fun. Meeting people, just. I've always been a very, uh, like, antisocial person, so. You meet somebody with a cool truck, you got a cool truck, it's fun. You can relate on something. I've never had that really. Um, 
so that was a blast and you know slowly i had my second truck meet at carver fleet farm probably had 15 20 trucks so we slowly grew um i used to do i tried to do weekly meets at ridgedale mall pretty close to my house and i first time first couple times had like nobody my buddy eric would come and kevin and then uh this the shorty 16 volt guy i hit him up i saw the truck on tiktok so i was hitting people up on tiktok so i'm like yo you should pop out come meet me come hang out and it, you know it doesn't hurt it doesn't hurt to ask and i hit shorty up he had probably like three or five k followers on tiktok at the time and you know now he's got 20k or whatever crazy how you know two years or whatever goes by but yeah he him and his you know ex now they came out and they both had trucks and just from there became good friends over the years and you know he's one of my better friends as well now like a brother to me so that's you know you meet a lot of cool people through social media through going to these meets all over and that that by far has been like the biggest thing to me i i meet a lot of people it's you see a lot of cool stuff and you all can relate on that 90 percent of the people can relate on that and then you know my meets weren't really picking up at ridgedale at the time so i got on the old interwebs got on facebook and joined a bunch of truck groups just random minnesota wisconsin just a bunch of truck groups i'm a nobody at this point and i still am i'm hitting a bunch of these these guys up or sharing my ad for the meets to these groups and you know sure enough it slowly became 35 40 trucks in a parking lot and i did i do meets all over i enjoy it um just over the years, you kind of learn the little tricks. For me, Facebook event. I started off as a Facebook event. Then yes, screenshot. Go to TikTok. Go to Snapchat. Post it around. Get get it out there. Get that word out there. Send it to people who are, you think are famous at the time, or whatever. Just get that get that out there. As many people spread the word, the bigger the turnout will be. And, you know, nowadays, kids always ask, they're like, well, what's the turnout going to be? I don't know. Bring yourself, bring your buddies, bring your mom, bring your sister. I don't care. Pull up, have a good time, show off what you got. You know, and that, for me, that's what it's about. And I've been to a couple of meets where it was very just negative. It was, you know, I'm, this was before Jillian was lifted and whatnot. I got a lift kit and everyone thinks I'm cool or something. I don't know. But, uh. <laughs> I definitely get looked at differently and I got that lift kit done and I've met a lot of cool people but there's been a few meets where I go to and you're like wow they got their own little like clicks there's these groups that oh they're cooler than us or they're they're better than everybody else that ruins a truck community period those guys right there top it off throw it away ruined ruin the truck community and it sucks because there's a lot of younger guys even older guys even I'm, I'm 21 and uh it sucks because we're all out here we have the same passion trying to have fun enjoy it and have a good time and show off what our our pride and joy so and you know with social media now um it's hard it's hard to find the middle ground and like who you talk to who's your friend who, who can you trust and hosting meets now is just ridiculous you know obviously you know 2023 was a fantastic year for meets i hosted uh i mean well i had the help of zach moore and a couple other people i hit up as well to get the word out more um the first time i actually like hung out hung out with zach was uh april it was the weekend after my birthday so it was like the 22nd i believe or 23rd it was a saturday i found this big mall my buddy has an exhaust shop down in Shockby, Birkeland builds y'all go hook hit him up if you need exhaust work instagram dm's the best way but uh 
Brooklyn Bills. Shout out to Jake. Um, go get at Jake. But uh, there's a big mall parking lot I've thought about for months. I was like, God, that's a big open lot. Perfect. Perfect. You know, obviously it's April in Minnesota, so it was still pretty cold. And we didn't quite have the weather we wanted. It was like 30 and drizzling all day. It was just miserable. It was horrible. And I got guys from Duluth, Wisconsin, Iowa, South Dakota. There's one guy. Um, I had some Fargo guys. We're going to come down too. But uh, it was snowed up there that morning, so they didn't want to trailer their trucks down. We had over 300 trucks. Crazy. My mind is blown. You know, there's guys bringing fifth wheels, whatever. Um, I think his name's Mike. Forget me. He had this blue 7.3. He had a, a gooseneck with his diesel Ranger on it. Badass. Super, super sweet rig. Bunch of cool trucks I follow on TikTok. And it was super nice meeting everybody and trying to meet everybody. I was in my truck. It was pretty cold. So it was like in my truck for a bit. Out, freeze my ass off. In my truck, back out. It was kind of back and forth. And it was awesome. By far far the biggest meet Minnesota had this year for truck shows I, I'm i pretty sure and you know obviously I'm the guy hosting it so I'm trying to work we had the Shakopee police pull up and that's the hard part working with police it's, it's not really hard but you gotta get permission for these spots and something I've never done so I highly suggest, like, you know, in the future, I do want to get permission for possibly that mall parking lot again or uh, a fairgrounds. Do a fairgrounds. It's like more of a show because it sucks when you bring out your nice rig and these younger kids, are they start doing burnouts and just stupid stuff. It's like, really? Save that for the night. We do that. I don't do that, but, you know, save that for the night. For legal reasons, I don't do that. I just, you know, and that's, that was super hard on me because I worked months. I had that meet posted for probably two, three months trying to figure out stuff, hitting up people all over and it sucked. It did. It's up because I had 300 guys there, 300 guys and gals in their trucks in that parking lot. And, you know, I didn't really have a legit backup spot and there were still more people coming there was a convoy from Hastings I remember um, quite a few guys with super nice truck a couple buddies I've known for a little while and they were coming and they were like well where are you going now well cops came kicked us out so we had to go back up to this uh, Metro Transit lot which I've had a bunch of great meets there as well and other people have hosted there too um, North Star Trucks hosted there, I think, once. It's a great spot. Um, and then more trucks came. It was nuts. <laughs> so I'm proud of myself for that. And, you know, obviously going into 2024, you know, myself and Zach and a couple other people, we want to try to have more of a show. Because Minnesota doesn't exactly have a truck show. We have Street Machine Nationals, which is everything. We have um, Back to the 50s, Hot Rods, Classics. Can't go unless you have 64 or older. Um, and there's, you know, there's a couple. Fargo, uh, they have the Midwest Mayhem, which is actually coming up in May. So y'all go stay tuned for that. I might pop out there if I can find wheels. You know, obviously I won't enter in the show because Jolene's got rust and needs a lot of work done. But as I daily drive it. So, I mean, it's it's so fun. I've met so many cool people, and I just want to say for the younger viewers out there, people who look up to me, which is crazy. I, I never thought in a million years people would look up to me. But uh, just don't care what people think. And for me, that's been the hardest thing possible, is I sit there and rethink it. Rethink it. Oh, this guy's dumb. Oh, he... He's, he's got rust only I'm on his truck. Who cares? Build that truck how you want to. It don't matter what people say. 
90% of the time they're just jealous. And that's the truth. So, you know, obviously I didn't go as far into detail as I wanted to with this video. But I think I'm going to use it anyways. <laughs> and just go out there, have fun, bring what you got. You know, obviously we have a show in August 2024. I hope everybody who watches this comes out. Should be a great time. Um, Zach, official Zach Moore, if you're not following him, go follow him now. Um, go follow Shorty 16 Volt, been one of my best friends. And one of the first people that actually came to my meets. Um, go follow all the boys. I'll put links in the description for a bunch of the people that helped me out and helped build the truck. And, you know, obviously stay tuned for 2024. It's going to be big. And we are going to have a good time. We're going to have fun. We're going to go out there, get more turnout, get bigger turnouts. Try to get some of these famous guys up here. Because ain't nobody know about Minnesota where there's nothing. Nobody knows about us. You know, there's a handful of guys with SEMA quality trucks in this state. There's probably two two handfuls. I'll say two handfuls of people with actually quality SEMA trucks. But they don't bring them out. So I want to hit up them and let's make it happen. Get some of these companies too, these newer companies starting out. So I got to get some get some traction in my head and talk to some people more and try to figure out a location because last year in April I did the MN spring kickoff and it was a hit everybody was stoked it's the first time of the year you can get that truck out and it's a show it's more of a show so that was a blast if I can get that at a fairground and do it right I'm down 100% but sheriffs will be there um, Nathan likes cops so I try to work with them. I don't want issues. I don't want to waste their time. And I need to get more strict with rules. If you start doing a burnout, I have to kick you out. Not, oh, you know, whatever, I'll let you say. No, I want it done. You're out. Because that's what's been ruining these meets lately. People do burnouts and get reckless and get stupid. And there's, you know, there's a lot of good and bad with the truck scene. But I will say 90% good if you find the right people to hang around and the way to look at it. Um, for me right now, I'm just kind of doing my own thing. I'm going through some life struggles myself, so I'm working on that right now. I'm not, you know, 100% focused in on the truck stuff. Jolene is clapped out right now. It's need a new grill, hit a pheasant, need a new fog light, went mud and got water up in there. Um... Need a new roll pan now. Need a tailgate because I backed into a pole. Um, rust repair, body work, color match. It all needs to be done. So hopefully lift will come out. It'll be bigger too. So more info obviously come in spring. Make sure to like, subscribe, comment down below. Tell me what you think. I don't, I don't know. I still want to do like a more detailed video. I'm overtired. So I'm probably just going to post this anyways. Um, but no, I appreciate any feedback you guys can leave me on what you think of this kind of thing. You know, obviously, I want to try to get a podcast going with a couple buddies and just just talk about, like, truck stuff and what what's up. So, yeah, just make sure to like, subscribe, comment down below, and have a wonderful night as it's night when I'm recording this.